Customers are the lifeblood of any business, and if you're not serving customers effectively, your business has no purpose and will eventually cease to exist. That's glaringly obvious, isn't it? Yet, one of the biggest mistakes many businesses make when training their call center team members is not explaining who their ideal customer is, what problems are keeping them up at night, and how your business solves these problems for them. Hi, I'm Mark Carrier. At the end of this video, you'll know the key areas of your ideal customer that you need to share with team members so they clearly understand how best to relate and communicate with them. Having worked all over the world for 31 years, running marketing departments and call centers, uh, consulting with businesses, coaching and mentoring their call center managers and team leaders, one of the things that constantly surprises me is how little time is spent explaining to team members what its most important asset uh, in the business is, and that's its ideal customer. Making sure your team members have a crystal clear idea of your ideal customer is crucial because in many cases, team members are the first human contact or the majority of interactions uh, with your ideal customer. Because of this, team members need to know who your ideal customer is and what problems they're trying to solve and how they like to be communicated with so they can really empathize with them and relate to them as individuals and clearly understand how to engage in a way that is meaningful to and appreciated by your ideal customer. An obvious starting point is sharing your customer avatar or what some people call the buyer persona which your sales and marketing departments have created. Uh, this not only includes demographic information about them like you know what gender are they, how old are they, where do they live, whether they're married or have a life partner or if they're single, uh, if they have children, how many and how old are they, uh, what type of jobs do they do, what is their job title, what's their level of education and how much is their annual income. Your team members also need to know about the psychographic information that applies to your ideal customer like what books, movies, magazines and newspapers they enjoy, what hobbies or interests they have, uh, where they like to hang out and, and what they like to do for fun. They also need to know what their goals and values are, what your ideal customer really wants and what they are committed to, and what are their challenges and pain points, basically what's keeping them up at night. They also need to know what objections uh, they could have to the sales process and what role they have in the sales process. And if you have different customer avatars uh, for other products and services uh, you provide that your team members are involved with, just follow the same process uh, for each of them and apply that. Now, I'd love to hear your thoughts on these key areas of your ideal customer that uh, you should share with team members. So just leave your thoughts in the comments section below. And if you have any questions, uh, just put them there too and I'll be sure to answer them all. Now, if you like this video, please do me a favor and hit the... Uh, like button and share it with somebody you think it can help and be sure to subscribe to this channel because I upload team leader training videos every Wednesday and hit the notification bell that way when I upload more videos and tips you'll get notified. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.